Hello and welcome to Vloggy Buds. This is Aaron Radlicky speaking. Today, Steve and I are going to be doing a fun little mini adventure. You see, there's this game. And you might be thinking to yourself, Self, what is this game called? And I would love to tell you. This game is called Tell Me About. It's super simple. Here's how it works. One of us says to the other person, tell me about fill in the blank. It can be anything. Tell me about where water comes from, for example. And then the other person pretends to be an expert on it and can say whatever they want, real or not real. And then the other person just makes it up, keeps going, pretending like they know everything. So without further ado, Steve is going to be introducing mine. <laughs> All right. So I've been thinking and Aaron, tell me about potato farming. Okay, well, you see, potato farming is something which really goes back way, way into, like, the prehistoric um, age. Dinosaurs were actually the first ones to farm potatoes. Um, like, the Tyrannosaurus rex, they were the first ones to really get into it. Um, because, you know, they ate meat all the time, and then one day, this Tyrannosaurus rex scientist was just like, yeah, you know, man, we really need to get some more of the other food groups. And so they started looking around, they tried some vegetables. Just like, man, these are super lame, T-Rexes don't like vegetables. So what they ended up doing was they discovered starches. They were like, man, that's really awesome. So they started looking around for all these different things and they decided to try some potatoes. And they were really good. They found a few, ate them up. But you see, the problem is, that they didn't have a lot of potatoes. So they started taking these potatoes, putting them in the ground, and then they would water them with water from a nearby lake. And the lake was filled with super duper ultra mega water, which made the potatoes grow super fast. And so there were only like four or five potatoes on the earth at the time that the T-Rexes started eating them. But, you know, they grew so many that potatoes just kind of spread everywhere. And so when people came along, the T-Rexes showed them what to do, because as we all know, T-Rexes and people were there at the same time. And then the T-Rexes and people became best friends, and they ate potatoes together. And that is how potato farming came to be. Whoa, I, I did not know that. Thank you very much for sharing. Indeed. So, Steve, I have a question for you. Can you please tell me about who invented the moon? Who invented the moon? All right, so this is very, very surprising information. So mm. top secret, top secret, okay? So JFK, right? The JFK, yeah. the man who created this space age and wanted to really push us and get us out to what's the moon, right? He, he knew the secret. Yeah. He was informed yeah. of what the reality is about the moon. So the moon was actually created by an alien species okay. eons and eons ago. Okay, And what we were doing and this time, because those aliens created us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they created the moon as a top secret star base. Okay, So right within the Whoa. moon is Whoa. the star base that you can go into. All these craters that, that's like parts where it's like starting to decay so the land it can't be flat anymore so mm -hmm. it's starting to fall in and starting to be craters so then they have to fix those and then some craters appear and disappear and Whoa. that actually like when you remember seeing the video with the flag flapping right mm -hmm. that was because they at that moment they had to expel some air from the space wow. station oh right that's, that's why they were at the moon but they just had to expel some air and it caught on the flag. But JFK, so he knew this. He was informed of this. Mm -hmm. And the real reason to go up there was they needed to beat the Russians to get this alien technology. Why do you think we have these advanced computers nowadays? And why do you think that we're yeah. so advanced? When we went up to the space, you know, station that is the moon, we, it, uh, computers were the size of rooms. It, there was less computing power in the space craft we sent up there than is in our phone now. Yeah. And we took their technology. It took us a long time to reverse engineer it. We reverse engineered it and 
gradually pretended to increase our stuff, but really we were just in introducing their technology and their yeah. knowledge. So that's how we got all this technology stuff. It's all because the moon was made by aliens and it's actually a space station. That's awesome. I love that. So, I think that we learned quite a lot today. This was quite insightful, wouldn't you say? I would agree. I mean, this has been quite the uh, interesting, interesting discussion. Indeed, a, quite a wonderful learning experience. And for anyone watching at home, if you enjoyed that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're getting towards our next huge milestone. We are going to be hitting the 10 subscriber mark really soon and can't even put into words how excited I am. So if y'all like this and you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe and do the little annoying bell thing that YouTube is doing so that way you get notified of all of our videos. And then we will see you again next week with some more fun videos from Vloggy Buds. Yes. See you later. Choop, 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 choop.